beyond the demonstration phase, then you're you're using it as your <coughs> vehicle when you buy new vehicles. <coughs> There's a couple things we're testing right now. We're testing the world's first hybrid double-decker bus. So we're testing that. And uh, the test, the final, we're actually in the last month of the testing. So we'll make a decision on that. And just to give you an idea, we did the fuel test on it. Uh, and we just got the reports. A de regular diesel bus could chew somewhere between 52 and 55 liters per 100 kilometers. The latest test was just under 55 for a double-decker bus hybrid. That's huge. We're also looking, and we've pushed really hard with the bus manufacturers. I know there's some in the room here today. The biggest problem with bus manufacturers is they do not want to change. It's very expensive for them to change their, their plant setup, their engineering, and everything else. It's a huge expense. The easiest thing for a bus manufacturer to build you is a 40-foot bus. When you want a customized change, it, you create a headache for them. We are looking for a we've made this clear to everybody, we're looking for a bus that's less than 30 feet long that can drive in any neighborhood without looking like a huge bus, but still looks and feels like a bus, but it's smaller. Because the biggest problem with transit is people will tell you there's two problems with transit and why they don't take it. It's not reliable, it's not convenient. The convenient part is we're going to have to go to your neighborhood to help you take transit. People do not want a 40-foot bus doing it. They want something smaller. And I know when talking to the guys at Proterra, for example, I challenged them and said, get us a bus that's less than 30 feet long. I'll tell you an interesting story. Uh, we went with three other big transit operators in Canada. And we went out with an expression of interest saying that we, if we can get a successful bidder, we'll buy 500 of these buses. 500. Because community bus, that's what we call it when it goes in your neighborhood, is the fastest growing part of transit. But nobody wants to invest in it. We've got these cutaway buses that we're using that no customer likes. We need a better vehicle. And I think, can you imagine a 28-foot bus that's clean and green that can go into your neighborhood? It'd be hugely accepted by the public. And that's what they're looking for. And that's where we're really pushing the industry is who wants to do that. And one of the things that we pride ourselves in transit, I don't care if it's in North America or not, we'll go wherever the bus is. So if that means Europe or Asia, we'll go find it there. 